It was seven minutes before midnight. The dog was lying on the grass in the middle of the lawn in front of Mrs. Tan's house. Its eyes were closed. It looked as if it was running on its side, the way dogs run when they chase after cats in a dream. But it wasn't a dream. The dog was dead. What have you done? There was a garden fork sticking out of the dog. The dog was called Wellington. It belonged to Mrs. Tan, who was our friend. My name is Christopher Boone. I live at 62 Lorong 1 Realty Park. I know all the countries of the world and their capital cities and every prime number up to 7,507. Get away from my dog! <gasps> Twelve and a half minutes later, a policeman arrived. The dog is dead. I can see that. I think someone killed the dog. How old are you? I'm 15 years, 3 months and 2 days. I like dogs. Did you kill the dog? I did not kill the dog! You seem very upset about this. I'm going to have to take you to the station for further questioning. <laughs> ah! I don't like people holding my hand. Do you just assault a police officer? Right, you're under arrest! I find people confusing. The main reason for this is that people do a lot of talking without using any words. Could you empty your pockets on the table, please? That's right. A piece of string. A piece of a wooden puzzle. Three pallets of red food for my pet red Toby. $1.47 made up of a $1 coin, a 20 cent coin, two 10 cent coins, a 5 cent coin, and a 2 cent coin, currently out of circulation. A red paper clip. A key for the front door. A Swiss army knife with 13 attachments. Could you take off your watch, please? No! I need my watch to tell exactly what the time is. Do you have any family, Christopher? I do. A and who is your family? Father and mother, but mother's dead. Also, Auntie Terry, who lives down in Australia. She's my father's sister, and I have two grandparents. One is dead, the other one lives down south, and I have 13 cousins. Jack, Crystal, Emily... Okay, I get the picture. Do you have your father's number? I find people confusing as well, Christopher. Many people talk and talk in metaphors. These are some examples of metaphors. He was the apple of my eye. The dog was stone dead. The word metaphor means carrying something from one place to another, and it is when you describe something by using a word for something that it isn't. That means the word metaphor is actually a metaphor. Clever, right? It's true. What's wrong, Christopher? I'm just nervous. About what? About my math A level, of course. Right then, let's put your book away and we can start with trigonometry. I didn't mean to hit the policeman. It's okay. And I didn't kill Wellington. I know. Just, just stay out of trouble, okay? Forget about it. I'm going to find out who killed Wellington. Were you listening to what I said? It's a dog, Christopher, a bloody dog. Forget about it. I think dogs are important too. I think some dogs are cleverer than some I people. I said forget about it! The next day was a Saturday. And there's not much to do on a Saturday unless father takes me out somewhere on an outing. Today, not one person was at home, so I decided to go out on my own. Can I help you? Do you know who killed Wellington? Who are you? I'm Christopher Boone from number 36 and you're Mrs. Thompson. So I ask again, do you know who killed Wellington? Who is Wellington? Mrs. Tan's dog from number 39. Someone killed her dog? With a fork, do you know who killed him? Look, I don't think you should be going around asking questions like this. 
but I need to know because I'm writing a book about it. I wasn't home on Tuesday. I was out. Leave me alone. Do you know who killed Wellington? Mrs. Tan is very upset. No. No, I don't. Please be careful when asking these kind of questions. Perhaps you should speak to your parents about this? But I can't! <sighs> Do you know who could work on Thursday evening? Ha! <laughs> the police are getting younger around here. <laughs> Two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, sixteen. Two, three, three, nine, thirty-one, thirty-seven. Why would you kill a dog? I wouldn't. I think you'll only kill a dog if you a hated Wellington, b were lunatic, or c wanted to make Mrs. Tan sad. Now I don't know anybody who hated Wellington, so feels a it was probably a stranger. Right. But most murders are committed by someone known to the victim. In fact, you are most likely to be murdered by a member of your own family on Christmas Day. Is that a fact? Yes, it is actually a fact. Wellington was therefore being killed by someone close to him. I only know one person who didn't like Mrs. Tan, and that's her daughter who had to live with Mr. Tan after their divorce, blaming her mother for everything. She was very close to Wellington indeed. This means that Mrs. Tan's daughter is my prime suspect. You can't blame me. I haven't been to see my mother in over a year now. It's her fault that my parents are divorced. And if you're up to me, I will never see her again. Find somebody else to torment in your strange investigation about a dog nobody even cared about. What's this? It's a book I'm writing. It's not finished yet. Is it true? You've been talking to Mrs. Alexandra and Mrs. Tan? That you've been talking about our family history, your mother's death to God knows how many people? Yes. What did I tell you? I asked you to do one thing for me, Christopher. One thing! To stop trespassing on other people's gardens. And to stop playing any of my ridiculous detective games. Except I haven't done any of those things. I just asked Mrs. Alexandra about Mrs. Tan. We're just talking. I can't do this anymore, Christopher. You have no idea how difficult you can be. The next day, when I got home from school, I noticed father had hidden my book. He was probably still mad at me. So I went hunting. Father was out, so I headed to the dustbin, thinking father may have thrown it away. I walked slowly upstairs and into father's room, jumping under the bed, only to find a pair of old trainers. I ran back inside and looked in a cardboard box under the sink. And there it was, along with some letters. They had never been opened before. One said, Christopher Woon, 62 Lorong 1 Realty Park. I went up to my room, and when I was in my room, I shut the door and took out the envelope. Woodland Street 2, Block 681. Dear Christopher, I said I wanted to explain to you why I went away when I had the time to do so. <laughs> now I've lots of time, so I'm sitting here on the sofa with the letter in my hand and the radio on, and I'm going to try and explain. I was not a very good mother, Christopher. Maybe if things had been different, maybe if you'd been different, I would have been better at it. But that's just not the way things turned out. You know, Christopher, I used to have dreams where everything would get better. Remember you said you wanted to be an astronaut, Christopher? Well, I had this dream where you're an astronaut and I saw you on television and I thought, that's my son! I wonder what it is you want to be now, Christopher. Has it changed? Are you still doing pets? I hope you are. Loads. And loads of love. Mom. I was really confused. Mother had never written me a letter before, and Mother had never lived in Woodlands. I looked at the front of the envelope and saw that there was a postmark, and there was a date on the postmark the 16th of October, 2020, which meant that the letter had been posted 18 months after mother had died, 
When I started writing this book, there was only one mystery to solve. Now there were two. I decided I wouldn't think about it anymore that night, as I didn't have enough information and could easily leap to the wrong conclusion. Can you just hear me out? Go away! I don't want to talk to you. I told you already. I'm living with that. But you're still my daughter. Okay, look, I get that you're upset. But I can't just go away. Ashley. Ashley. Look at me, Ashley. Why are you still here? Don't you understand? You ruined everything. Dad told me everything. And he probably didn't tell you everything. He probably didn't tell you how much effort I put into this marriage. How many times I forgave your father. And how many nights I cried over and over again. After all the fights. I tried, Ashley. I really, really tried. Well, obviously, not hard enough. At least Dad didn't cheat on you. No, Ashley, that's not what happened. Dad Ashley! Dad's calling me. I gotta go. I just saw Ashley. She's really leaving. She doesn't even want to see me anymore. Her dad poisoned our relationship with lies. <laughs> It'll be okay. I promise. Look, I'll order some food and we can talk about it. I've got something I need to do first, but I'll see you later tonight. Okay. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I want you to know that you can trust me. Life is difficult, you know. It's bloody hard telling the truth all the time. But I want you to know that I'm trying. You have to know that I'm going to tell you the truth from now on about everything. Because if you don't tell the truth now, then later on it hurts even more. So... I, I don't understand. I... I killed Wellington, Christopher. Just... Let me explain. When your mom left, Mrs. Tan... She was very good to me. She helped me through a very difficult time and... I don't think I would have made it without her. But you know how she was around here most days? Popping over to see if we were okay, if we needed anything. I thought, well, Christopher, I'm trying to keep this simple for you. I thought we were friends. And I guess I thought wrong. We argued, Christopher, and she said some things I'm not going to say to you because they're not nice, but they hurt. But I think she cared more for that bloody dog than for us. We had this fight. Well, quite a few fights, to be honest. And after this particularly nasty one, she pushed me out of the house. And you know what that dog was like. Nice one moment. A freaking monster the next. Anyway, we were yelling at each other and... And we, it was outside. So when she slammed the door behind me, the dog was waiting for me. <laughs> I know, I know. Maybe if I've given it a kick, it would have probably backed off, but... But shit, Christopher. We're not that different, me and you. And it was like everything I've been bottling up for two years, just... 
I promised you. I never meant for it to turn out like this. So all along, all this time, it was you. I'm sorry, Christopher. I'm Get away from me! You're a monster! Okay, look, Christopher, I'm sorry! Let's leave it for tonight, okay? I'm gonna go downstairs and you get some sleep and we'll talk in the morning. It's gonna be alright. Trust me. father had murdered Wellington. That meant he could murder me. I had to get out of the house. I made a decision. I did this by thinking of the things I could do and deciding whether they were the right decision or not. Stay home. I decided I couldn't stay home anymore. You could go and live if you're Auntie Terry. You live in Australia. I don't know how to get to Australia. You can stay with me, Christopher, your favourite neighbour. I don't go into strange people's houses or use your toilet because you've used it and you're a stranger. Woodland Street 2, Block 681. 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 I waited for three more minutes, but nobody else came. I knew that the stop was Woodlands, but there were just too many exits to choose from. Are you lost? How do I get to Woodland Street 2, Block 681? I can write it like Block 681, Woodland Street 2. Woodland Street 2, Woodland Street 2. Oh, Block 681? Exit B will take you onto that road. What's exit B? Toby? 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 Toby, where are you? Come on, Toby, you don't know Woodlands. You don't have Google Maps. Toby! There you are. <sighs> Look, Toby. Woodland Street 2. <laughs> what do you mean the payment didn't go through? I'm pretty sure I already paid for it for the bank and... You want in, so I waited for you. Oh, 
Christopher, oh my goodness. <gasps> I'm sorry, I forgot. Christopher, where's your father? In Aukang. How did you get here? I came by the train. Oh, Christopher, you, you, I, I've been waiting for this day for so long. It's been so long since I've seen you. Wait, does your father know you're here? I'm staying with you, Mum. Dad lied about you. He said you were dead. And he killed a dog. What? Never mind. Let's head back inside. I'll prepare dinner for you, all right? Let's go. Christopher, you're so incredibly brave for coming all the way here. All by yourself. I, I, I genuinely can't believe it. You know, I've always kept all these spare pillows and blankets just for you, Christopher. I was hoping that you would come over during the weekends and you'll visit me, but... You never wrote back, so I thought... He said you were dead. I know, Christopher. You He's... told me. He said you had problems with your heart. I'm glad your heart is fine now, but... I'm just too confused. I'm so sorry, Christopher. He put <laughs> all this. I don't like people holding my hand. Hold on, Christopher. Give me a bit. We know Christopher is here. I need to speak to him. He's been through a lot today. Can't this wait? It can't. We heard reports he's here. We need to know he's safe. Okay, okay. Is he going to take me away? No, dear. He only wants to talk to us for a while, alright? Christopher, is this your mother? What kind of question is that? Of course I'm his mother! I need Christopher to answer the question. It's okay, Christopher. We are here to help you. I just need to know if this is your mother. All right. So why did you run away? Dad killed Wellington, who is a dog, which means you could kill me. I want to stay here. Are you going to take me back to Aokang? No, Christopher, not yet. I'll report this back and we'll be in touch. Okay. I need to go back to Aokang. Christopher, you just got here. I'm taking my math A-levels there. You're taking math A-levels at 15? Yes. I'm taking it next Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Mrs. Peters is supervising it. Christopher, that's wonderful! I'm going to get A star. But I can't see father. So I need you to go back to Aokang with me. Okay. So you're Christopher's mother. That's right. Hello, Christopher. Hello. Are you okay? Tired. He's a little upset. Christopher, is this what you really want to do? If you say no, no one is going to be angry with you. I want to do it. How's your brain when you think about maths? What's the logarithmic formula of the approximate number of prime numbers not greater than x? All right, Christopher. Pen said already. Your examination starts now. Two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three, twenty-nine, thirty-one. Now have another go. Shoulder and triangle with the sides, n squared plus 1, 
n squared minus 1 and 2n, where n is greater than 1, is right angled. You don't have to tell us how you found the answer, Christopher. But I want to. It's my favourite question. Well, maybe you can tell us at the end, okay? It's okay, Christopher. I'm not going to hurt you. I just wanted to ask how the exam went. Tell him, Christopher. I don't know if I got all the questions correct because I was tired and I hadn't eaten any food, so I couldn't think properly. Thank you. What for? Just thank you. I'm very proud of you, Christopher. Very proud. I'm sure you did really well for the exam. Oh, Christopher, you made it! I don't like waiting for exam results. Toby died. Oh, Christopher, I'm sorry. It's okay. He was two years and seven months, which is very old for a rat. Is this it? Oh, yes, Christopher. Your exam results. You have to open it to read them. Well, what does it say? I got an A star. Oh, Christopher, that's terrific. Are you happy? Yes, it's the best result. It is. So, Christopher, I have to ask, how are things with your father? He planted a vegetable patch in our garden. I helped him and we planted carrots, peas and spinach. I told him I wanted to take further math next year and get an A star. And then I wanted to take my physics A level and then get an A star. And then I'll get my first class honors degree. And then I'll become a scientist. I can do these things. <laughs> I hope so. I can because I went to Woodlands on my own. I solved the mystery of who killed Wellington. I found my mother. I was brave. You were. And then I wrote a book about it. I know. I read it. We turned it into a play. Does this mean I can do anything? Do you think? Does this mean I can do anything? <laughs>